All right, hey guys. So today I wanna to talk about the longevity of Skyblock. So I know it's a really weird topic, kind of like be talking about, but I think it's kind of warranted with how the game's going. So you, you guys know, it's been a few months since we've had like a content drop, for example, right? Like Dungeons is still weeks away, which seems like every time I talk about it, it is still weeks away, which feels pretty bad. And that really begs the question is like, what is going to happen in the future? Because they plan on doing a lot with the game, but is it going to be in a timely manner is the thing I'm thinking about. Because it's taken this long for Dungeons now. To be fair, I don't know when they started, you know, working on it, for example. I'm going to assume it was maybe late last year, early this year, but I, I'm not sure. I'm not a developer. I don't know how long it takes to make that stuff. I mean, I know it's an ambitious, <laughs> an ambitious project from them, and that they, you know, it's working on a lot of back-end systems to make the future easier. But going forward, what does that mean for the game? Later on, they plan to implement more dungeons, and the first one is going to be like the hard part for them. Getting the system working, all this other stuff. So once they finally, you know, finish Dungeons V1, they can go to Dungeons V2, like the next dungeon later on. And that one should come out a lot quicker. Like, instead of, we heard about it in September, and it's coming out in probably June, maybe it'll come out by like October or like September from June, you know? But we don't know. They also plan on expanding their minigames team a few more people because they finally are going with it, like, you know, getting more people for the team. So they are able to bring updates to Skyblock more consistently because they're finally like, oh, this is a really big hit. And Simon's finally like, all right, time to start, you know, making Skyblock consistent updates. But it's still going to be a while. Like, I, I don't even know like, if they even picked up anyone yet. That was like a week or two ago that he put the tweet out. But, you know, maybe by, like, June, July, they'll have, like, they'll fill the rest of the team. And we'll start seeing maybe updates maybe, like, once a month. Uh, as it is right now, the Elf Network is still has not, you know, happened. So we don't know what's going on with that. But what it's going to look like in the future. So as I said, there's going to be new dungeons. How those are going to work is going to be interesting. Besides that, the only other thing we really know about is the Abyss. And the Abyss seems to be like water-based content that like divers, for example, would be good for. Now that idea could be different now. You know, it's been months since like we've heard anything about it. And it's just, you know, besides dungeons now, we don't really know anything. Like it's just kind of what's going to happen in the future. As you know, Hytale's also around the corner. It's not around the corner, but it's, you know, in the next year, maybe Hytale's going to come out. And... I don't know how they're going to go about Hytale, but it seems like Skyblock, well, Simon wants Skyblock to last, which is why he's, you know, investing more in his team now, wants more consistent updates for the game, because they have a really good concept, it's just how long is it going to last. From, depending on how Hytale is, this game might just be, end up being a waiting room for Hytale, but I'm not entirely sure how Hytale is going to turn out. And they could do some pretty big things in the next year for Skyblock to make it really stick out. But there's a lot they need to do. Like, they need to rehaul the skill system. Like, rehaul a lot of the current stuff in the game if they plan on keeping it like dragons, for example, boss fights. Like, right now, they're not in, like, a state that is, like, good for the player in any way. People need to have the ability to enjoy themselves, right? And without being able to do that, then, like, the golem boss, for example... How are you supposed to hit a boss with like 80 people hitting it and the people are not rewarded properly for, you know, getting the boss spawned? Same thing with Dragon. Like, the weight, the current weight system is kind of messed up. I hope they learn from it and don't use it going forward because there's going to be a lot of issues with that kind of stuff. And it's just kind of like, well, if we have this, then why can't we have something better? that actually rewards players for investing their time, their money, their resource, like, that's that's the big thing, is when there's, like, content, let's say, like, dungeons, for example, if dungeons cost me coins to run, I better be getting good value out of it. If I'm not getting good value of it, then what's the point of doing it, is the thing. 
Like, it's with dra like dragons right now, for example. In the current state of the game, they are not worth running. In the future, that could be different. Like, when they release dungeons, there could be reforged stones. But, they're, you know, they're not out. It's not out yet. So right now, dragons is literally just like a pit where you just throw your money in if you don't want any. And to me, that just doesn't make sense. There's been, like, the one thing that kind of worries me the future of Skyblock is how long it takes for them to fix things. So right now, Golem is bugged, for example. I think I've had so enough for a week, so, you know, it's not something I should be, like, complaining about. But it's been, it's bugged, it's still not fixed. I know it's, like, Doctor's Project, but he's, like, taking a break and stuff, so it's, you know, because he just released an update. But, you know, people are, like, falling for the bait right now and buying that, wasting their coins. Dragons still aren't fixed, they've been since August. They, like, worsen the loot system. Like, you know, I know this is, like, coming off as a rant, and I really don't want it to come off as a rant, but, um, you know, I can't really express it in any other way. It, it's just, uh, you know, as I always say, I want the game to do well, and it's just kind of not, like, I don't, I want to see the game I like do really well. I want to see succeed. I want to see it keep getting success. Like, I want to see the Skyblock with 50k players on at a time. 60k, 70k, 80k. Like, I want to see that. Like, that can happen. I know you guys know that too. As of right now, since the pet update, there's been... Let me click the leaderboard. <clears throat> there's been 840k people that have logged into Skyblock since the pet update last week. So, here's the thing. They could easily have 100k concurrent players on Skyblock if there is consistent updates that meet, not even meet player expectation, that, you know, that make the game fun. Because I currently have not experienced, like, you know, what, I mean, I guess I'm like, you know, like a abnormal case. People have definitely played the game more than me. And I'm sure a lot of people who are late game we play game for all, not having fun. Even beginners are probably not having, like, unless you're a super beginner, you're probably not having fun with the game anymore. Because you're fine, like, you'll find that there is nothing for you to do in the current state of the game. But this could change in the future. But how long can, do the players have to wait is the thing. Dungeons in a few weeks, but then what's next? How long will we have to wait for dungeons? Because as they plan on spacing out the release. So. At that point, it's kind of like, okay, so the recent three floors of dungeon, and then after that, they're going to release the rest of them, and then like a harder difficulty called Master Mode. So we wait for three floors to come out, and then we got to wait a few more weeks for the rest of it to come out. And then, you know, it's, it, 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 I'm not sure. It's just like a mixture of like them trying to buy time, or if they're just trying to, you know, like, just, they, I know they don't want people exploiting and all this other stuff, but, like, like, it, it, it's, to me, like, I, I feel, I feel miserable. And, like, I'm sure a lot of you guys share this, share the sentiment with me, because, like, there's just nothing to do. Now, I'll have, like, 80 people, like, 20 people in the comments being like, hey, guys, you know, hey, 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 boy, there's, like, you know, you can skill and all this other stuff. Well, you see, skilling is good and all, but... What it like? What's entertaining about doing skilling? You know, like that's the thing I worry about, and it it, it really it's really depressing. You know, having to sit there and you know skill on stream. Like you could just like literally you can just count the exact moment when I started doing skilling because you'll see the viewer count decrease. You know, and it's like well you know don't skill then, but it's like well then what do you do besides skilling? Like everything in Skyblock costs coins. And it's going to be a trend they're going to keep going forward. Because, like, you know, coin sinks. <laughs> but I'm not a fan of coin sinks, unless the coin sinks have, like, you know, proper, like, rewarding mechanisms. But, you know, there's, like, a lot of things I'm getting into this video, or talk, at least discussing, that could probably be, like, spun in their own video, and it's ended up just being me complaining. Hmm. But, yeah. The future... It seems grim right now for skyblock but i think they have some big it sounds like they have some big stuff planned it's just 
the can the players hold out that long is what i'm thinking because i'm hanging on because you know i like the game I like the concept and i want to see it do well but you know trust me some days i'm struggling i'm like you know i'm just like man why do we even open skyblock anyway thanks for watching this whole like rant guys and hey look there's a game update pog thanks for watching guys I'll catch you guys next time remember to leave a sub if you enjoyed take care guys bye